Wow, would you believe it everybody, I'm on peg 22 again at Acorn. I'm not drawing this peg more than once in a year and all of a sudden I'm drawing it twice in like three or four matches. We're a couple of minutes away from the start of the third round of the Acorn Spring League. Uh, today's secret bait is bread. Um, we've been catching Dobbin for the first hour here, so um, that's something I'm going to try, see if I can sneak a few fish out while everyone else is struggling, because it has been a struggle up here, no, no denying it. Um, I've got maggot for down the middle, which I was going to use, I was going to feed out my hand down the middle. But now after on the bridge, I will probably feed out my hand towards the bridge, try and get some tench later on. Hard four mils, bit of ground mate, I've got hard six mils, hard eight mils, expanded again as usual. That's it, that's all my bait selection. I've got a banana, but that's not for the fish, that's for me. That's all we've bought with us, not complicating it. There's a little brew for the, for the fishermen. So, let's see how we get on today. Um, I feel like I've drawn probably one of the best two pegs in my section, so first or second is really, you know, if I don't get first or second, I haven't had a result. Peg 26 is worrying me because the wind's blowing down there, there's a good angler on it, a lot of fish have been coming from down there. But this is acorn, the fish just move. So that, that's peg 26, just peg 24, then peg 26 is in at the end. And the next peg round, that's not my section. And then this section, which you can't see, runs all the way down. It's just about where that white band is. That white band there. Pretty similar to last time I've set, I've set um, one, up, one up over here and then in the deeper water. I line up over, uh, over here and in the deeper water. I'm fishing down here in the bridge and I've got a, a two foot of water in front of that platform. I bought maggots with me today because you ain't been able to put any bait in here. You put any sort of amount of pellet in or anything, they don't want to know. Whereas I feel like later on, if I'm struggling, I can push it with maggots because it's maggots. You just feel like you can feed more and get away with it. So I've got one and a half points in there. I've got another one and a half points in the in the bag behind me. I don't expect to feed all of that, but you never know. So and I'm out again Tuesday, so I'll just keep until Tuesday. So there's the pre-match banter done. The pre-match. My um, my prediction is it's between me and Peg Twenty Six, but. You know, I could be eating my own words and end up bum bumming out in the section, so let's see how we get on. I could, you know, over a first or second would do me well because I'm second in the league at the moment with a with a, a first and a second in section, so another first or second to put me in a good position. We're halfway through the league then. I get to drop one, so that means I only have to get two good results from the last remaining three rounds. in order to sort of hopefully get a frame in place in the league, so that'll be nice. But I mean, that's getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's worry about today. Catch up with you in a bit, guys. Right, everyone, all's in, all sanded. I'm gonna start off by putting a quite a biggish pot of maggot. And a little nugget of ground bait, just up against the bridge. A nugget of ground bait is just to draw some fish in and the maggots is to feed whatever turns up. And I shall just keep topping that up. That's kind of my, uh, I need to catch a fish line. So, let's start fishing. So my opening gambit is to have a little look, Dobbin. Not something that anybody else is going to be doing, probably. Bread's a little bit dry because it's stuff I had in the freezer from winter. But I'm not fishing with it all day, so I'll be fine. slow sinking bait. I'm going to leave the cameras rolling for the first couple of minutes like I normally do, just in case we have a nice start. Nice to see. 
so you don't stick in the pole because it does like to come apart this pole. And let's go. Let's bring it over here somewhere and see what we can see. What... That's my first indication of any meaning. The way it's up the bank, I'd say it's foul up. Yeah, foul up because it's done me. On the bottom though, it was weird. Right guys, we've had a small bar of soap from fishing over. We, we didn't get nothing dobbing. Well, we did, we foul up one dobbing. And then... We've decided to go back to ground bait and expander because it works for us. And we've up to something which feels like it could be a carp. Everybody's struggling around me, including me. <laughs> We're um, just, un just under half an hour in, and this is the first sign of anything, anything like a proper fish. Could oh, maybe it is a carp. I think it might be a tent for a second. Maybe it's not so. Lively, they're lively today. Got one on here, I think it might be foul locked. A weird bite off it, and when I struck it, it seemed like it was already up the bank, but it could be that it's picked the bait up and swam up the bank. Now it's foul locked, there we are. Foul rock, I decided to go up against the bridge where I fed the ground bait because I've had a few fish bubbling straight away. What a fish, it's a perch, was not what I was expecting. But something. So we're putting three maggots on. We're going over the line under the bridge where. We put a tiny little nugget of ground bait and half a pot of maggots, well not half a pot of maggots, but a decent amount of maggots. I've had a run of fish, nothing major. Two small tench and a bream. But it's something at the moment. I've lost something better, which I think was a, a better bream. Because I had a lot of snot up the line. And I feel like if I, if I can just keep ticking over here, I might pick up some of them better tench while it's quiet. Just keep an eye out to see if ever people start catching carp, then I can switch over. If I'm resting that far bank line, it might be doing me a favour. Resting that far bank line because, um, then, you know, when I go over there, they might want it. I've got something else here, now. It's like another, feels like a bream. And that's interesting was when I was going over there with single and double maggot I was up I was waiting ages for a bite but with a triple maggot just seems to go straight under. Got nodules on him. Spawning nodules. I've just spawned. We're about to spawn. I was in the quandary as to whether to go down here this early because I thought you know, this might be a line to drop on when things were quiet. In my mind I was thinking later on when things were quiet and it's taken me a bit of time to get the courage up to go down here this early. Not wanna, you know, you feel like you're coming off a carp or something but I'm not really coming off a carp because I'm not catching them. So. But those skimmers are off the bottom, that didn't get to the bottom that rig. Didn't even settle before it was gone. It's quite deep there, it's like four and a half foot, four foot, four and a half foot. It's the deepest part of the lake. And 
Uh, he caught under the bridges for some reason. Obviously the fish living under there must scour out the bottom of the bridges and they're always lot like four to six inches deeper than everywhere else. Obviously a lot of bait goes in there as well, so the fish probably churning the bottom out. It's quite positive because it's uh, I've got a double kind of a double book, I've got two shots near the up length. I see the bite's nice and positive and I've got three maggots on the hook so I'm not faffing about. I might try and expand her over it in a minute but I suspect it won't be as good. These could all add up to important section points at the end. These little tents are really feeding today. Start feeding today. Well, I'm hoping this is one of the better tents just got in from under the bridge. Topped up the feed and then it went dead. And I was like, oh no. Guy on the other side of the bridge is trying to catch them as well, which probably won't help, but suddenly up comes a proper one. Yes, that's what we want. That's two pound every day of the week, and it may be a bit more. What did you say, mate? Like that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I thought it's worth giving it half an hour in case they better ones are there. I weren't expecting to be on that line so quickly. I was left. I was. I was just going to. I thought I was going to feed it all day and use it when I can't catch carp, but I couldn't catch carp after ten minutes. <laughs> fishing over on the far bank on the left. Swimming it right, I kept foul looking things and weren't happy with it. So I've just gone to a different spot where I feel like I'm fishing the, the bank a bit and it's harder for fish to get behind the rig and I've got this but I didn't think it was foul up but all of a sudden it's going wampy. Maybe it's foul up or maybe it's just lively. Find out in a second. But I've left the bridge line again. It's a carp, F1 by the looks of it, big one. Um, I've left the bridge line. Just fed it again, because it, I was catching it, but they were just too small. I'm just going to keep topping it up as the day goes on and drop on it every now and again and pick up some fish. We're going to give ourselves three. Two. Two, let's go three, just to be optimistic. Ducked another carp over, just went over into that right hand hole. We didn't really put any bait in, or we're not fed anything there. We just knew that the rig was just touching bottom on the slope. Just sat there with an expander. And this fish is just neatly taking the bait and come out. It's a smallish carp by the feel of it. Sort of picking fish off over there, they're not really feeding. Seems to be the way to, to do it. Don't know if it is a small carp, it could be a tent, it's fighting funny. That's a little mirror. Bust me. Bust me. Let's see, let's see where you've got the hook in him still. Yeah, we still got the hook in him. Let's get that out. We don't want one in him, does he? There we have. A little tree coming around there. <laughs> Back down under the bridge. and over and had a couple of fish but then it's gone hard again so feels like I'm going to just come down this bridge have a few fish and go over and nick a carp come back and just might do that for the next hour this is a tent slightly better I think not massive but better than the, 
better than the eyeballs that have been catching on the bars, I say it was slightly bigger. He wanted that. Back under the bridge for you maggots. We've got ourselves what I think will probably prove to be one of the better tench, I'm hoping. It's not something foul up because then it's put up a better fight than it should because it'll be disappointing. At the moment, trying to land a few tench is a result, really. I need to do a little another strip, I think. Before he gets me in my keep bits. Yes, it's a tent. Is he catching down the end, is he? Aye. Is he catching down there? Emptying it. So we've got three hours in halfway through. Still catching silver, still only got about ten pounds of carp. Just keep catching odd ones with these. Probably about ten or twelve with these little things now. Didn't weigh in anything, but something going in the bag. I keep trying, you know, either to try and pick up a cart, but it seems to be happening all of a sudden. I fed my line down to my left hand side in two foot of water, not, not too close to the pallet to my left, but in that direction, bottom of the slope there. Put quite a lot of um, micros in, figuring I probably won't touch that again now until I'm ready to fish it. So, that, you know, half a pot of micros down there, hopefully, if there's anything about, they can just settle over that. And I did put. <laughs> Some maggots and a bit of and a, and a bit of uh, ground bait over on one of the lines that over where I hadn't been catching just to see just to see if um, I'd get some tails up or something. But it doesn't seem like anything's come over it. So at the moment I'm just going to have to keep plugging away with this silver's so line up against the bridge. And well, guys. Past two. First fish of note for a while. I've had some silvers and bits and bobs from down by the bridge. I've been trying different things over, trying to make something happen. I've been feeding maggots in the left hand line quite hard, but I just can't get a bite there. And I've done nothing on my right hand line. I've just dobbing in a bit of ground bait every now and again and then just suspending a bait just off the deck over there. I seem to just be coming, you know, if there's fish there, just come and grab it and have it. Really seem to want to know about feed. So, really, really tough. No one's, no one's admitting to any sort of weight. So we've got just over two hours left and things should be starting to hot up, but they're not. We'll see.